Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. We here at the Mona Project are continuing in our series of uh, videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, guidance, advice, and um, I want to tell a story, a brief story, with respect to uh, Rav uh, Yosef Dov uh, Soloveitchik, also known as Yosha Bar Soloveitchik, also known as the Bezalevi. This would have been the great grandson of uh, Reb Chaim of Volozhin. And uh, during his day, uh, the, the kafira, the heresy, uh, was spreading uh, through Europe uh, as a result of the Enlightenment, the so-called free thinkers, the secularists, and uh, some uh, members of the prominent households of, of Brisk uh, came to the Rav and they were concerned, they were uh, complaining that this uh, heresy, this kafira, um, spouted by members of the Haskalah, the, uh, the Enlightenment, um, was uh, rampant. It was uh, making incursions into the observant community, into the Hasidic community. This was um, a scenario in many uh, Jewish communities throughout um, Central and Eastern Europe. And what concerned these men was that the members of the uh, of the Haskalah, these uh, uh, these uh, heretics, uh, were succeeding? These kofrim were uh, were uh, able to knock some uh, uh, some Jews uh, off the derech, off the path. So they come to Harov uh, Yosef of Soloveitchik, the Bezalevi, and they're they're putting this to him. This is, and they were they were puzzled. Why, why, why are these kofrim? Why are these uh, heretics? Succeeding, how how could they be working? They're 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 spouting sheker, uh, falsehoods and lies, and 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 they're and they're they're winning. God forbid. What what's going on? So the Bezalevi Yeshubar, he turns on them. He turns to them and he asks, "Why are you so surprised? Why why are you shocked? Why are you surprised? Truth always prevails. The men." were dumbfounded. I says, Rebbe, how can you, how can you say that? How can you uh, refer to this, this, uh, this epicorsis, the, the, this heresy, this, uh, as emes, as truth? It's shaker. It's falsehood. It's not emes. They were incredulous. The Bezalevi explains the kofrim, the heretics, they're battling at their, uh, for their sheker, for their false ideals, with emes, with truth. They are devout atheists. They truly believe what they're doing. That is why they're succeeding. As um, the Kotzke Rebbe would have put it, they have sheker, they have falsehood, but they're doing it with emes. Um, all too often, we have emes, but we do it with Shekhar. Unfortunately, we can't say the same with regards to our level of observance and our reasons for observance. Sometimes uh, heretics, apostates, agnostics, atheists can uh, fight for their cause with a zeal that, that, uh, that outmatches us. Um, we somehow demonstrate a lack of integrity in our observance to mitzvahs. Quite often, when we battle for the emes, when we battle for the truth of the Torah, of Hashem, it's for the wrong reasons. When one fights to preserve the truth, the emes, Torah, it has to be based on virtue and principle. Because truth, simplicity, honor, these virtues, they will, they will win the day. And um, doing it for any other reason, oh, you've got to be Jewish because the Jewish people have lasted so long, and uh, you know, if, you, if you give up, we're gonna die out. It's like, you know, we don't, you know, we want to be the last man standing. Not a convincing argument for people. You say, why should someone do this? They do, they do this because it's true. 
That's why we do it. Why do we believe in Torah? Torah is Emma. Torah is true. Why do we believe in God? God's true. It's, uh, you don't have to come up with sophistry. You don't have to come up with, with these clever little, little, little uh, false arguments. They have Sheker, but they do it with Emmas. Let us display the same amount of Emmas, the same amount of truth in our observance, in our life, in our, uh, in our carrying out of mitzvahs and Torah knowledge. Um, this is how we combat uh, our enemies, our opponents, those who would denigrate us. This is how we win. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them uh, inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.